What's going on everybody? It's Josh. Today is Saturday and we are at the Cincinnati Comic Expo. Uh -oh. Oh, whew, I thought my trunk was about to hit the roof. Good lord. Uh, but we're at the Cincinnati Comic Expo uh, with the family. It's going to be a very, very quick trip for us because we have a something to do after this. Um, but I brought the whole family with us today. Karina's getting a pop signed by who? What's the thing? Do you want to explain? Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> you don't have to show. It's a uh, Mary Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. Perfect. That's what she's getting. And I think I'm gonna try to get autographs from the two Lord of the Rings guests that are here, um, King Theoden, and then there is another guy who played like four different characters. Um, I recognize them. I just don't know the names off the top of my head. Um, but I think Kyle and Billy are here somewhere, so we're going to go stand in line and get uh, my press passes. So, I know that um, people from the convention probably don't watch my videos, but if you are watching it, thank you very much for the press pass. Uh, I'm trying to find my keys. There we go. So we're in here. Wow. Okay. So anyways, yeah, we're going to go in here, get everything done, and then I will see you guys very, very soon. So we're at Galactic Toys booth, and there's uh, two statues off the rip that I definitely want to get. Um, I for sure want to get the Saiyan Rose, and then maybe the uh, the Goku 4, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, but this one for sure I want, because this is so sick. That's 55 and that's 60. I just don't want to carry those around. I, we literally just walked in, and this is the first booth, so I don't know. Billy's recording. Woo! Some random stuff here. They have a bunch of Nendroids. There's some Pops and a bunch of Pops. I have no idea where, oh, Crane and them are over there. Okay. We got some the Nendroids. I think these, no, these aren't Nendroids. Are they? Yeah. I don't know what they're called. Good Smile Company. And they got the Loki from Ragnarok. That's sick. Got some good pops though. Oh, I haven't even. I forgot that they have some of their ones. Cause this is their uh, some of their exclusives. Did you do the like, uh, Sup, dude? Hey, that's pretty sweet. They have the. Uh, What's up, buddy? Cases. Where? Right here, Street, they have oh, the nice. So you could buy them. That's, yeah, that's not bad. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. So they have the probably what, buddy? You need something over here? Oh, I need? What? Oh, yeah, I did. I do have that. Wow. Oh. Other Harry Potter stuff? How you doing, mate? Nice. What's up, brother? It's not bad. 50. 50 for that is not... not bad. No, not horrible. I finally got that uh, three-pack. Did you? How much you get it for? 50. Nice. Shipped. That's what I'm hoping to find it for. Yeah. Shout out to Eric Eisner for that. Yeah, so this has already dropped uh, like 37 on Amazon. Yeah, yeah. just for oh, just no, for man, like a day. Like yeah. Crazy oh yeah, as soon as they release, it'll just it'll drop right away. So yeah, Captain America, huh? Yeah, I gotta go figure out what I'm doing over there. Hi, Kyle. What's going on, Josh? <laughs> where where are we at? What booth is this? Smiley's. Oh, Smiley's. That's right. Yeah, we've been here before. This is actually a store based in Cincinnati. Um, they have a lot of like the, what are these called? Iron Studio stuff, uh, Sideshow Hot Toys. They have the Osmus Gimli. Very cool. And they have the IG-88, the original trilogy thing. Yeah, that is what I got. Oh, Serious Black. That's not horrible. It's very cool. Loki, we got, what's that name? I can't even, e Eomir? I forget his name, but it's cool seeing Lord of the Rings. And then we got Arwen. I'd love to honestly get all the six scale uh, Lord of the Rings stuff because I have the Gandalf um, on pre order. Are you talking about that? Uh, yeah, that must be an older one because those are the that's the Star Ace. I don't know what that is. Oh. Huh. I wonder if it's like a different series. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe another series. What scale? No, there's there's six scale. Yeah. Because they don't have the six scale rights anymore. I think Sideshow does. 
Yeah. Oh, awesome. Because uh, Star Ace is doing like one tenth scale now. You didn't need that, but it wasn't the sixth scale, right? Right, it's like the one eighth something, yeah. You're good, right? Something weird. <laughs> All right. They're, uh, we'll probably go to the next booth now. So we're going to stand in line right now for Bernard Hill and then Lawrence McDare, McGorry. I don't know. I can't tell if that's a D or an O. But uh, we're going to wait for them. Going to get both of these two Lord of the Rings people down and out. Finally out of the uh, autograph lines. Unfortunately, Karina is still in, um, some, I forget her name's line. She's the one of the witches off of Hocus Pocus. Um, but I got Bernard Hill and the Lawrence guy, uh, their autographs. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not that uh, that happy with the autographs. Just one of the uh, one of the placements on them wasn't perfect, and then the other one, the um, the marker wasn't really working that well. So, to me, sorry man, to me that's like ninety dollars that I spent. That's not that exciting. So I don't know. I'm trying not to be super disappointed about it. Um, but we're going to go try to find the uh, toy booths because this is mainly like a comic slash art show. Um, so I want to show you guys some cool footage. Um, and like I said, we have to kind of hurry. I feel bad for Karina because she's still in line. But anyways, we're going to walk through this crowd and then uh, hopefully show you some toys. Loose Mythic Legions. Bunch of knights. I kind of want this uh, this Orc Legion builder, the female. James, that does CTS, yeah, is trying She's to pretty awesome. Yeah, it was we have, so uh, much con. Sir he Godfrey. Field of Force con, and then he got a C &D And then from, uh, uh, this. Yeah, he got a C &D or the Sir Gallery on or whatever. These are pretty rare, um, pretty rare figures. Here's some little mythic stuff. I want that barbarian set again. I have one. This mythic, the the Templar is so sick. So expensive though. Such a bummer. I have him. I haven't opened him up yet. Are these all the same? Yeah. So these are obviously toy department's booth. But I do want that. Or Legion Butter. Uh, I just don't know. I've already spent $200 today. And that's just too much. Too much right now. So uh, I'm going to try to go find a different booth. It's pretty crowded. So this is a booth that I bought some stuff from uh, over in Indiana. And they had this uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, the manga. And I, I just bought the other two. So this is literally, I mean, one of the last ones that I need. And I regret not buying it last time. So I might pick that up um, today. I, I just don't know. Here we have some uh, Power Ranger figures. This is Super Saiyan God. Unfortunately, it's 45. The Bulma for 60. This is where I got Mr. Satan last time. But I really, really want that. I don't know how how low he would go for that. It's definitely a cool, cool statue for sure. And especially since I got the other two, it kind of makes sense to go ahead and get. Here's some uh, some good small company stuff. I just I don't know this show. It's really not toy toy heavy like it was last year. So I ended up buying that uh, Vegeta statue. They gave it to me for 50, so honestly, I really can't pass it up. They're so cool, so I'm pretty happy about it. But here's some uh, NECA stuff, some looks like horror figures. Not a lot, so. Parker, what you looking at, dude? Some scary stuff. This is actually all horror, but this is pretty cool. That, uh. The Genocide Aliens 2-pack is very cool. Speaking of some NECA stuff, I have a giveaway coming up with uh, Kokomo. They sent me a bunch of NECA figures to give away to you guys, so I'll have to do that, but... Hopefully there's some cool stuff. Those are Mezco living dolls. So, okay. Booth is getting crowded. Time to go. So next booth is a little less crowded, thankfully. But we got up on some, uh, some figure arts. We got Son Goku. We got Android 21. Oh, that's so cool. From, um, oh my goodness. Is that my hero? I think so. I don't know. There's some very cool stuff here, actually. Some cool statues. I definitely don't need to spend any more money today. Thankfully, I didn't spend much uh, last weekend at ICCC. Which, if you haven't got, seen that video yet, I would, you know, highly recommend that. Here's a cool, uh, what's this called? Player Arts Guy? It's awesome. 120 bucks. Got 50 for Vader and got a bunch of Mezco figures too. Got some Legends. Got that re edit Iron Man. Very cool. Yeah, these are all looking very, very cool. Nice booth. I think I've seen this booth before. 
a couple of times. I don't, definitely don't need to buy any more statues. 50 for that Goku. Oof. 60 for Android 21. Hmm. Quite a bit of stuff. Here we are at Comics the Games booth. They came out to set up here, which is very cool. It's always good to see what they have selection wise. Oh, I just saw Red Hood somewhere. It's funny, I just picked, picked that up for somebody. Hmm. I have a lot of stuff. Hmm, what else? They have a lot of hot toys and stuff over there. That pop wall looks super sketchy. Ghostbusters 4 pack for 250. Yeah, another Dragon Ball statue. Oh boy. Oh, the new mall. That's sick. Oh, and there's one of the speeder. Man, oh man. And Dooku and Stormtrooper. Some days I do regret selling my hot toys. Other days I don't. Just a juggernaut and Colossus 2 pack. A bunch of legends down there. Alright, time to figure out something. You ready to go find mommy? I'm gonna get my toys. Alright, let's go. So we finally made it back to the car. These are my pickups. I ended up getting that Super Saiyan Vegeta statue. I'm not sure if I showed that. Here's one of the autographs. And then here's Karina's pop that she got signed. That was a horrible experience, by the way. I uh, got this Clone Wars Magna Droid I, fighter. I think that's what it's specifically called. And I got the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And then the Goku Black statue. Uh, or the Super Saiyan Rose statue. So I'm not going to lie, um, this show is a, not, I need to put my book bag in here, it, it was an okay show. Would I have paid 40, well $90 for Karina and I to get in here? Absolutely not. Uh, this is obviously more of a comic and art based show, which is completely fine for me. Like I love those types of shows. Um, but the way that some certain things were handled, just not very happy about. Um, and there was a lot less toys this year than there were um, last year. So, I mean, it was still a fine show. It was fun, got to hang out with Billy and Kyle. So it was good to see them for a little bit, but overall just, I don't know, just I would, I'd rate it like a five out of 10, six out of 10 maybe. Um, so now we are on our way uh, to another destination, but this is going to be the end of the video. Um, so if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, um, subscribe if you are new. I have no idea how long this video is, so if it was shorter, I apologize. Um, but there should be another video coming out here in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. We recently passed 22,000 subscribers, which is pretty dope. So once again, if you are new, hit that subscribe button. But I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, may the fix be with you.